This is the Clix keyboard, a new case for the iPhone that adds a physical keyboard to your phone. It's supposed to help you type faster with less typos, give you 50% more screen space, and also has a bunch of keyboard shortcuts for productivity. So in this review, we're gonna take a close look at this case and put it to the test to figure out, is the Clix keyboard case any good? And should you be going back to a physical keyboard for your phone anytime soon? If you're old enough to have had a BlackBerry or T-Mobile Sidekick, then you remember the days of physical keyboards. But when Apple launched the first iPhone in 2007 and introduced the touchscreen keyboard, major tech sites like Wired Magazine called the touchscreen keyboard a quote-unquote disaster. And TechCrunch said that a quote-unquote virtual keyboard will be just about as useful for tapping out emails and text messages as a rotary phone. Yet here we are 17 years later and a physical keyboard is nowhere to be found on any new mobile device. So is it time to bring back physical keyboards for the iPhone? Well, given that Clix has sold out their initial pre-order, there's definitely a lot of people interested. But with a price tag of $139 for this case, this thing isn't cheap. So we put our money down for a Founders Edition to test it and figure out if it's worth it. In the box, you get a keyboard case and a QR code link to a getting started guide. Putting your phone into the case is easy, it slides in at an angle and plugs right into the USB port on the bottom. This case is plug and play, so once it's plugged in, it's ready to go. There's no pairing or any apps or any setup to do. The case is made of a hard plastic with some soft edges and the bottom backside features this kind of fake leather section that adds grip behind your fingers. Immediately, you notice how much taller your phone becomes in this case. We also noticed right away the phone becomes very top heavy due to the weight from the cameras being placed even higher up. Getting into typing, it feels strange and disorienting. You get the immediate feeling that there's a huge learning curve to this. Now, Click says that it takes 20 minutes to learn, two hours to get comfortable and two days to master it. And they say that after two weeks, you'll have muscle memory and become so addicted that you won't want to go back. Well, we can say that for the first 20 minutes, it was pretty nerve wracking. After a few hours, we didn't feel that much more comfortable either. We weren't getting used to the button placement and the distance between the keys. For example, the backspace button is small and placed right on top of the larger enter key. So you find yourself sending messages instead of trying to hit backspace. There's other quirks too like when entering numbers and characters and having to press and hold a dedicated button. Our brains have become so used to the entire keyboard changing for characters and numbers that it feels unnecessary to have to press and hold a button for those inputs. And then there's the emojis, which make it slower and harder to get to. And after you insert an emoji, the on-screen keyboard just hangs out there and having to hide it is another task in itself. On top of that, we noticed immediately the additional strain that it puts on your fingers, not only because of the awkward tall length, but also the placement of the keys being so low. See, you'll notice that the on-screen keyboard on the iPhone is positioned in a slightly higher and naturally and more comfortable location. And the keys on the on-screen keyboard are actually bigger, while the Clix keyboard is actually smaller and not as tall as the on-screen keyboard. You'll also lose the ability to use the precise cursor to hover over text when you press and hold on the spacebar of the virtual keyboard. And if you're one of those people who loves this feature, you're gonna miss it right away. We also tested this keyboard one-handed and it definitely made it a lot harder and less comfortable than without the keyboard. Typing numbers one-handed is a complete no-go since you'll need to press and hold another numbers key with the other hand. And all these little quirks make it pretty nerve-wracking, especially if you're a heavy texter and someone who uses your phone for work all day long. So it makes you wonder, what's even good about this keyboard case? Well, first off, you definitely do get a lot more screen real estate. Because the on-screen keyboard takes up almost 50% of the screen when it's up, the Clix is supposed to allow you to enjoy a lot more screen real estate when you're writing emails or working on documents. There's also a bunch of keyboard shortcuts like Command H, which goes to home, and Command Space that opens up search, which are pretty useful. There's also a dedicated Siri button, which is nice, so you no longer have to reach for your power button. Clix has a list of all the different keyboard shortcuts that they support on their site. But are those few upsides really worth it if you need to relearn the entire typing experience on your phone? You also have to consider carrying all that extra weight and added height on your phone, making the phone so big that it can actually no longer be comfortable to fit in the pocket or your purse. We also tested the MagSafe of the case and noticed right away that the magnets were not strong at all. If you're trying to use a MagSafe charging desk stand like this one, it'll be rendered useless without taking the phone out of the case. And while the bottom of the case does have a USB-C plug to charge your phone, keep in mind that you're going to lose functionality from your iPhone 15 like reverse charging. For example, this little compact USB-C Apple Watch charger that can charge your Apple Watch directly from your phone in a pinch, and it also turns your watch into a fidget spinner. Well, that little accessory will no longer work using this case. We also found out that wired CarPlay will no longer work when using this case, so you'll need to take the phone out in order to plug your phone in. 
So the Clix physical keyboard case really makes you beg the question. Do you even need to add a physical keyboard on your iPhone and have all these extra hassles? It's been 17 years since the original iPhone came out with the on-screen keyboard and no one's really looked back since. So in the end, this is probably not tech we want. We won't be keeping this case and instead, we're gonna give it away to a lucky person who subscribes to our channel and leaves a comment on this video letting us know why you might want this case. So we'll pick a winner and ship this one out to you. Next up, check out our other videos on some useful accessories and gadgets for your iPhone right here on our channel.